In Creo Simulate 3.0, users are now able to easily create linearized stress plots for their model. Let's walk through the enhanced process. On the screen you see a simple pipe assembly. In order to generate the linearized stress, we do need to run a static analysis. In this case, I've already done a static analysis for pipe. Let's go view the results. In previous releases, to view the linearized stress, you would normally have to select on Display Type, Model. And then under the quantity type, you would see linearized stress. In Creo 3.0, this is no longer the case. You'd simply click on the fringe plot for stress. Setting a few display options, we can click on OK and Show. On the screen shows the Vine stress for my model. In addition, you'll see a new icon up at the top called linearized stress. Selecting the icon will open up the new dialog. The dialog has been updated, making it easy for users to select the specific points to display the linearized stress. Let's go choose the initial point. Immediately I'm presented with my 3D model, where I can go ahead and select the specific point in question. In previous releases, I would have been shown a cloud of H nodes, which made it very difficult to choose the specific point in question that I was looking for. With the 3D model now, I can easily view and select the point in question. Let's click on OK. For the second point, we'll use the on opposite surface. Immediately, my results are displayed. The detail of the linearized stress looks at the nodal data for the complex stress pattern found along the line and breaks it down into the following components. First of all is the membrane, and that is the overall average stress. The bending represents the difference in the stress from the inside point to the outside point. Membrane and bend is the sum of the above two numbers, and peak, which is the highest stress found along the line. If I zoom into my model, I can see the point 1 and point 2 and the resulting data represented in the graph. I also have additional capabilities that I can choose and select on component, and in this case, let's choose von Mises. Again, the graph will update as well as the corresponding numbers. This information is again defining what the stress will be along that line between those two points. At this point, we can click on Done. With this improved workflow, users are able to quickly now determine the linearized stress across critical areas of their data.